that's just a little snippet of what we're going to be talking about here today. But like I said, welcome. Uh, my name is Aaron Wifke. I'm an assistant director in Campus Life. I'm Jeff Holstein. I'm also an assistant director in Campus Life. Hi, everyone. My name is Michaela Flores, and I am the STAR president this year. STAR stands for St. Thomas Activities and Recreation. It is one of the programming boards on campus, and I also serve as one of the homecoming interns this year. Good afternoon. My name is Margaret Cahill, and I'm the director of Campus Life. Wonderful. Well, again, thank you for spending, or spending your afternoon with us here, and we're going to talk a bit more about why you can leave your suitcase at home or take it home with you after you've moved your student into campus. So take it home with you. So as you can see from our video, it looks like it's fun to get involved, and we want to tell you a bit about why it's important to get involved. And then later on, we'll tell you a bit about all the ways that your students can get involved on campus. So as we're a uh, research education, higher education institution, I want to tell you a little bit about, about the research about being involved. Um, his name is Dr. Alexander Aston. Um, he is a funding director of Higher Education Research Institute at UCLA. And he's got a theory called the theory of involvement. So I just want to read with you a few bullet points from that theory so you know a little bit about where we're coming from here today. Um, he says in that theory that students learn from their participation in both the academic and social aspects of the collegiate experience. And he defines an involved student as one who devotes considerable energy to academics, spends much time on campus, participates actively in student organizations and activities, and interacts often with faculty. And he also says that students play an integral role in determining their own degrees of involvement in academic courses, co-curricular activities, and social development. So that's some theory base for you about why involvement is important. Um, we would like you to keep in mind that this is going to be a time for students to build a great network on campus, get involved, and can make connections and find kind of their niche in both on campus and kind of the bigger community. Um, so if you are tempted to call your Tommy and say, come on home, I miss you, or if they call you and say, hey, I'm homesick, I really need to get home, we'd encourage you to encourage them to stay on campus. We've got lots of events that we'll talk more about here later, but we really want your student to get involved and find their network and their community on campus. So like Aaron said, we do have a ton of activities uh, all throughout the week for students to get involved in. And I have one question for you. Based on the materials around you, what is one activity that you think is pretty popular around here? Yeah. <laughs> Correct, it is bingo. So bingo is a really popular event here at St. Thomas. Students love to come. They get to win Tommy Shop prizes. They get to make, meet with their friends, have some free food. So we have nacho bingo, grocery bingo. It's just a great time. So you'll get to play and win some Tommy Shop prizes in a little bit. So as we mentioned before, we're going to talk about ways for students to connect with us and each other. And there's lots of them that we're going to go through here for you. A little fun to it, yeah. Um, all right, so we're going to tell you about who's connecting with your students. So right off the bat, whether or not your student's living on campus, there's gonna be, they're going to be connected to a welcome day leader. And those are students who um, are excited to be connecting each other on campus, but those welcome day leaders are going to be with your students through all of welcome days, so Friday through Tuesday. And they're going to be able to help your student make connections and get them connected to other people, um, get them to have some fun and kind of find new ways to get to know each other. Um, they're going to lead them through the different daytime activities and then kind of help host the evening events too. Um, we also have leadership interns, and those are students that we have in our club hub, which is up on the third floor of the student center. Michaela will talk more about that here later. And those students, as well as our students in campus life, are there to get your students um, both connected, answer questions if they want to know more about a club, or they have a question about anything on campus. Our students are super knowledgeable and are able to make those connections and those, um, that knowledge for them. Uh, we have our undergraduate student government, which is our, um, our governing body here on campus for our students. And those are advocates for your students. And if they have questions or concerns, they're able to go to USG for um, advocacy for that. Um, then we have our STAR and DAB programming interns. And those are student boards. Um, Michaela, is, as she mentioned, is our STAR, our star president. Um, and those students are there to represent your students, plan events for them, activities, um, and have fun with them. Um, and then we also work with other offices within our Division of Student Affairs, and they have other positions on campus, student positions, um, that connect with your students. So the community mentors come out of our off-campus student life, um, and they will connect with students who are not living on campus, and we have a good number of those students as well. 
Um, the REs and the ACs over in Residence Life are incredible student leaders who are in charge of those students over there. Um, we have linkages mentors from our Student Diversity and Inclusion Services office, and we have lots of other student positions and all of us staff in the Division of Student Affairs who are here for your students. And of course, we cannot forget about Tommy. Tommy is around campus all year round, um, and he's most prominent on Tuesdays because we have something here at St. Thomas called Tommy Tuesday. It's a day where everyone is encouraged to wear purple and show their Tommy spirit. So students will be given a shirt similar to the one on the uh, screen to wear on Tuesdays. It is important that you wear t uh, purple on Tuesdays because Tommy is sometimes known to hand out free prizes to those in purple. <laughs> Um, and we, if you have not already heard, um, I know that we had some information at the info fair earlier. We have over 140 clubs on campus. So there's something for everybody to get involved in. Um, whatever your student's interest is or their passion is or if they want to try something new maybe, um, we have that for them. And if there isn't a club for them, they can create a new one. That will work with Jeff here in Campus Life and get a new club created that does fit their interests. Um, you can see on the screen here some of the categories that our clubs fall under. Um, and I'm just going to share with you a couple of examples um, so you can kind of get an idea of just the breadth of club and bar that we have um, on campus. So um, we have a pre-law society, our Canenza and Summit Singers, which are our two a cappella groups on campus, uh, film society, we have the Black Empowerment Studio Association called BESA, um, we have Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Ballroom Dancing, Theology Club, Muslim Student Association, um, sustainability Club, we have College Democrats, College Republicans, um, and our St. Jude Up Till Dawn. So anything you probably can think of, we've got it here on campus. And one way to learn about those different clubs and organizations that we have on campus is the Student Activities Fair. We actually have two each year, one in the fall and one in the spring. This year, the one in the fall happens to be on Tuesday, September 18th, and it will be hosted over Convo Hour. Um, out on the plaza, hopefully if it's a nice day, just like the picture on the right on the screen. All the clubs and organizations are invited to have a booth there. They're, the students are able to connect with club members, get to know what their club does and is involved in on campus and in the community. And they may also get some free stuff that the clubs hand out. So tell them to look forward to that. And you may have heard a little bit about Tommy Link, but Tommy Link is an incredible resource both for you and your students. Um, if you visit Tommy Link, you can see a whole list of all those clubs that we had just talked about and all the ones that I didn't tell you. Um, so there's information, there's contact information on there if they want to start reaching out to some of those clubs and kind of get connected to them already. And then um, in Tommy Link, there's also going to be, or there are a list of events. So all the club events get put in there, all the programming board events get in there. So that's a great place for your students to go and see everything that's coming up. Um, and we have a lot. So you'll see more and more added here as the days go by as we get closer to Welcome Week. Um, but it's an incredible resource to check out now. And another way to learn about different clubs and organizations is the Club Hub and Sunberg Leadership Center. It is located on the third floor of the Student Center right next to Campus Life. Um, students are encouraged to go meet with their clubs there. It's getting revamped this summer, so we're looking forward to see all that and the fun space that we're going to have in the fall. Um, it's also a place for them to create banners and posters that they can hang in the atrium. Some things you see um, hanging right now maybe were created there. We don't know. <laughs> so um, that's just another place for them to connect with other students and their club. And a big thing we want you to take away from this session to pass on to your student is that there is something to do for them every single weekend of this academic year, including fall break. Um, we have something we're very intentional about having something for students. Whether or not they live on campus or they're commuting, whether or not they want to go home or not, we want to make sure those events are all of our students. So there are things to do every single weekend or the academic year. Yeah, so we have on-campus events. Oh, we went a little too fast there. Let's go back. On-campus events. So this is just a couple of pictures from our on-campus events that we've had throughout the years. Every Thursday night we have a live musician come in. We also have other concerts, bigger concerts throughout the year. Um, we have craft nights, bingo nights, trivia nights. Um, we have speakers come in. So there's always something that they can look forward to to have um, during the weekend. And we also have off-campus events. Uh, there's, this is just a very select few of what we do have. Um, a lot of our popular ones are like the Twins Game, Wild Game, Chanhassen Dinner Theater. Um, this year we're going to Minnesota United, which is really exciting. 
Um, DAB does DAB in the cities, so that's where they can, they'll take students off campus to cultural restaurants and plays and shows and get them more immersed in different cultures in the community. And we also have something new this year called the Minnesota Bucket List, and that's just something that STAR starting this year to bring students to different places around the Twin Cities to get to know, like the Spoon and Cherry, it's a pretty popular sculpture. So we're gonna take students there. So if you've been here your entire life or you're new to the state, you're gonna learn about the Twin Cities and the greater Minnesota area. So that's always fun. And it's also fun because they're only $5 tickets. So you're getting transportation to and from and like a wild ticket for $5, who can pass <laughs> that up? So you may want to know, and your students may want to know how they can hear about these events. There's going to be a couple of different ways. Um, well, this year we're starting a weekly email. We heard from our students that they wanted an email from us with all the weekend events that are coming up. So we're going to be sending out a, an email every Wednesday called Weekend Happenings. Um, and it's going to include all of our Star Weekend events, including other club events that are happening on the weekends. Uh, maybe feature some residence life events and different things like that. And we'll also kind of have a what's coming up, so maybe it's an opportunity to get tickets or events for the next week. So um, have them check their email every Wednesday and they'll see that. Um, as I mentioned, Tommy Link really truly is an incredible resource, so I would really encourage you and your students both to take some time. And you don't need to be a St. Thomas student, so you can just check it out on your own. Um, Social media, obviously our students love social media. Uh, and so almost every club uh, or big programming boards, they all have social media to follow to keep students up to date um, and kind of in the know of what's going on. And our Division of Student Affairs has a really great social media um, following between Facebook and Instagram and Twitter um, that kind of keeps everybody updated on a whole bunch of things going on. So you could follow those as well. Um, and then lastly, on university tickets, that's where we have all of our tickets for off-campus excursions that Michaela was talking about and some of the big speakers that we have or concerts we have. That's a great place for your student to see kind of what's coming up. So lots of ways to get to know um, what's going on. We also have Homecoming and Family Weekend. Um, homecoming is a full week of events that concludes with Homecoming and Family Weekend combined. A few things that you can look forward to this year or your student can look forward to is a sweatshirt giveaway. That's always super popular, students love it. Uh, we have golf cart parade. This year it's going to be through campus instead of on the street, which is exciting. And so we're really excited about that. Hopefully they'll get excited about it too. Um, we have bingo and a concert and a speaker. So all of those are really fun and exciting. And if they do want to get involved, they can look for more information on how to volunteer at an event and get involved in the committee in the fall. And Homecoming has a page on Tommy Link, so you can go check out those events as well. And then finally, we have plenty of leadership opportunities or ways for students to get involved on campus, but whether it's right away or a little bit later on. Um, our undergraduate student government has positions right away for, your, for the first year students to be elected to. Um, and you can, they can get information from the USG office as well as um, USG has a Tommy Link page as well. And you can see the positions up here of what those are. Um, we also have a chance for students to get involved right away with their clubs. So if they find a club that they're interested in and they want to get involved in the executive board, um, sometimes like a president position even opens up pretty quickly, that's a great place for them to kind of have an elevated position almost immediately. Um, and then we offer um, skill development sessions up in the club hub every month. And so those are going to be sessions like a resume critique, um, you know, true colors where you can kind of learn your personality and how that applies to the rest of your life, um, networking opportunities and things like that. So those are another way for students to get involved with some leadership right away. And then finally, we have what's called student leadership selection, and that happens in the spring. Um, and what that is is it's like a joint interview process for a lot of these positions that we talked about. So orientation leaders, the RAs, the student programming board, um, our linkages mentors, and a whole bunch of other positions. And that's a place that they can interview and then for all of them all at once. Kind of like a job fair for all of those positions at once. So and that happens in the spring. So that's kind of our spiel for you about what campus life is and involvement and how to get involved on campus. Do you all have any questions or you'd like to hear more information about anything who can answer for you? Yeah.
Um, I believe that's going to be more by the venue, and it's going to be if they have like a college night or something, if they have to show that they're a college student. Um, I don't know of any specific place that has a discount for St. Thomas students, but I think just a college student ID will get a discount for, I think Twins, I know Timberwolves has a college night. Um, I'm sure the Minnesota United does. They're really trying to kind of get their ticket sales up, so um, some of those places will, yeah. We're going to send it to everybody, um, and we're thinking about if we want to have an unsubscribe button or not, so they can unsubscribe from it, but we want it to get to everybody, because we found that um, they've asked for the email, and then if one person from their friend group or their floor or their classroom hears about it, then they start telling each other, so as long as people see it to some extent, then they'll tell each other, but we're going to give it to everybody right away, so great question. Anybody else have questions?